you know, you know, Nilokano, all the, all the gulai are bastos. Yeah. Poki poki, kabatiti, <laughs> utong. Diba? For your gulai? Yeah, mama sarap. Oh, asarap sarap mga utong. Sarap pang utong. Saka poki poki is my favorite. Mine too, actually. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Well, all my meetings around Manila have led me to randomly end up here at the Grand Canal Venice place. The one that everybody gets shocked by on YouTube, so there you have it. I'm gonna eat some food. We're gonna start a adventure to the south. But it's not really an adventure, it's more just life stuff. And I'm gonna do something I absolutely love and miss. I'm not really shocked at it. I generally want to see if there's pigeon feeding. <laughs> One just jumped in my arm. I had no clue that place existed. Just on the corner here outside, next to a Dunkin' Donuts, a sandwich guy got a lemon juice, a roast beef salad with some coleslaw, and some sort of sandwich. I can't even remember what I ordered, but uh, yeah, it was kind of fun in there. Going to the mall, I get why people get excited about it. I get, I get why it's a little bit of a tourist attraction. I was probably offered a dozen condos as I walked through. I expect a lot of people to approach you. I'm just gonna eat. I got Thereen's car and we're heading for Laguna. See you on the road. Just up to the left is main BGC High Street. Um, coming down through McKinley, gonna turn onto a road called C5. I do love how in big cities around the world, there's just different areas with different vibes. So here, clearly they're giving that Italian thing. Uh, you know, you can think of Chinatown, Intramuros, there's Brick Lane in Kubao, there's like Commonwealth. You know, it's just non-stop little pockets of different vibes. And I think that's cool. Recently, Manila was ranked as the world's worst traffic, and I get it. I mean, it's pretty wild, organized chaos. But I will say, personally, I think, it's better than back in 2016. There's all these new kind of skyways and expressways and you can kind of ninja move around if you if you know what you're doing or you have experience. Uh, at least compared to back, you know, when I lived in QC. You can also escape Manila a lot quicker. Forty-five minute drive later, I'm at the Esplanade in Binyan City. It looks out towards Alabang and literally where I just came from in BGC Tagig. This is Kriya Jacob. He's my Binyanense Barcada here now. Come on, stop, Brad. Come on, stop, Buhari, though. I'm just, I'm good. I'm chilling. You chilling? Nice one. Come on, stop, English, ba. 
Now we're busting out on it. We were actually chat we were chatting for about five minutes before I turned on the camera. Uh, you guys, are you guys all Bar Barcada from school? Uh, cool, cool, cool. Kailan, Kailan, Abre, when did this thing open? When was this built? I didn't even know this existed actually. We, we also <laughs> thought this this place is not here. <laughs> <laughs> even though even though Lahat Tagabinya, right? Mm. There we go. So this first is a new time, first time. First time. Also, 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 first time. How is Imong Kaki Ramdam? Okay. Okay, long. Ayos. Okay. Ayos. Medyo takot mga English or a little bit. That's okay, man. I can speak English fluent, so it's okay. I'm trying to. It's okay, so, to talking to you. Yeah, you're doing good, man. Uh, same, like, Minsan, gusto ko sa dito Tagalog, pero siyempre, dugo sa ilong, so... They're, they're judging you or no? No, hindi mag judge. I think it's pinaka important, you just try, diba? So, I respect... So, they can understand what you're saying, like that. Oh, exacto. But I can understand your English, it's pretty good, man. Jacob, nice to meet you. Salamat. I'm, I'm practicing to, uh, no, for... When I'm reciting in school, so I can speak fluent in English. Good man. And then, even though I, I told you I live in Davao, so I speak Bisaya, but maybe Susanud Maxalita Tagalog, fluent. Mm -hmm. We'll work on that together, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, this is super cool area. That was a really nice student. Where do you go, Jacob? Nice to meet you, man. It's good vibes. Um, Never be afraid to speak a language, even if you sound funny, even if you sound slang. It's all about trying your best and just appreciating and respecting. Looks like some sort of cool lakeside resort over there. And I don't know what they're going to build at the back here, but I'm going to find out later because I'm going to meet my friend, Kuya Steve. I'm going to ask him. This is a nice vibe. This is what the lake needs. It's so refreshing. You just look back at the biggest city, one of the biggest cities in the world. Oh, this is cool, you can actually come down here. Hello, we're gonna have one. Come on, I'm skateboarding, I guess. I guess. This is cool, literally. Didn't know that. This is rad. Making my way back through Binian City, I love the vibes towards the lake. Uh, you know, the roads, the local houses, just feels classic Philippines. Anyways, uh, before I left the Esplanade, a group of students, another one, came up to me and were like, Hey man, can we speak English to you and record it? I was like, yeah, go ahead. And it turns out uh, they have a course in high school uh, that's strictly for English speaking. They told me it's now the second national language in the country. Don't quote me on that, that's what they said. And yeah, I, I, I just wanted to say I love how, you know, parks, esplanades, walkways, all these kind of open space areas allow people to come together and engage and interact because that's what just happened there. Um, and those students too are from San Pedro, which is another municipality, uh, the neighboring one. I also have to say, Sometimes I forget that Lagunity Bay, the biggest lake in the Philippines, is right there next to all these cities as you drive through Laguna. The highways are more inland, so don't be afraid to just kind of, you know, switch it up and pop in and take a look. I'm gonna get some coffee. I'll see you later. Man, look at that form. Beautiful. 
What you just saw was myself and Kriya Steve practicing at Southwoods Golf Club because tomorrow I'm playing in a golf tournament for the first time in probably 10 years. But I just had to vlog one thing here. I didn't know until a second ago what province is Cremona in? Cavite. It's Cavite. So we were just in Cavite. Yes. And it borders Binia. Yes. Okay. But now we're in Laguna. So now we're back in Laguna. Okay. And we're playing golf here tomorrow. See you then. Steve, quick question. What are we doing right now? What's this tournament? Uh, Binion Lions Club Golf Invitation. Nice hat, by the way. Good luck. Four. <laughs> Four. That's good, man. Get up there. Okay, Kriya Steve for par. Uh, he's actually a very good golfer, much better than me. This is the 15th hole, it's a par three at Hollow Ridge Golf Club here in San Pedro Laguna. What you didn't see was me sandbagging everywhere the past five holes or six holes, I don't even know. I'm hitting a five iron, it's about 190 yards. I'll explain more later. Oh, before the green, okay, that's my life story, just So the thing about golf is I don't ever vlog myself doing it and I get really intimidated because it's such a mental battle but what you wouldn't have just seen is I smashed it down the middle right there in the fairway. No pressure for the camera. I actually grew up in Canada golfing all the time. And my first job too was working in a pro shop at a local golf course, maybe four or five years ago. One second, looking for my ball. Uh, <laughs> four or five years ago, I got invited to a golf game in the Philippines. And then since then I actually have a golf group now and different buddies who golf. That's a Lyono. Where am I? I that it. I had a great drive, but I was stuck behind this big tree. We found it there, I had to punch it out about 80 yards away. Par four, uphill. Uh, yeah, so I grew up golfing my whole life. I actually do it from time to time here in the Philippines. Peter Steve is one of my golf buddies now. And he's going for a shot. And the one time I didn't record anything on the tee box of me swinging, all of us are putting for birdie. No joke, this is for you, Thorin. I promised I'd make this hole in one, get you a golf cart to use in Marigondon on for your social enterprise. Ilang yardage? 200? Okay, it's not gonna happen, but. <laughs> 200! Par three uphill. Did not happen. Super, super important. We're gonna, we're gonna say hello to my Ate. Hello, Ate. Hello. Shout out to Don Siano, the Joel Luste. Ayos, tagasan. Oh, favorite Kenyanon. Sa bahay, sabi. Ah, nice. Ayos. Hello to Las Piñas. Thank you, ha. Joel Luste, ha. Inga po, inga. 
the caddies and the course tree flower is really fun to chat to. A lot of them actually watch me on YouTube, so positive vibes. Shout out Las Cunas. Sayang, man, Sayang. I was looking forward to the dance. One cup. One cup rice. Oi, Pabashon, Bainte. Bainte, Pabashon. Tiki, Bainte, Bainte, ha. Sakaiko. Sakaiko. Shout out. <laughs> I've got my first client here, 20 pesos. You're going to Pabashon, San Pedro. Yeah, Pabalek, Pinyan, Bayan. Oh. All the way to Isabella. Isabella. Is it your original home? Yeah. No way. Everywhere you go in this golf course, mango trees. One of the cool things about golfing in the Philippines. Tropical fruits everywhere. Something you don't get growing up in Canada. Maybe apple trees. Oh, look at the birds. <laughs> Thinking about Canada geese, Philippine version. Walking up the ninth hole, which is our final hole today, it's a par five. I have a really long birdie putt. If I make it, I'm gonna break 90, uh, which sounds about right. Pretty much a bogey golfer. I can't believe it, man. Look at this guy. He's got a TV with a big old boys and logo on it. If there's ever a good time to show you guys I was golfing, and this is now documented. This is gonna be on YouTube forever. You won the major raffle. <laughs> he won the TV. I can't get over it. In the Philippines, raffles are life. It doesn't even matter what it is. Like you could win a free like coffee from Jollibee or something you're like yes! yes Steve won the major TV life is good see you in the near future from Binyan <laughs> For Binyan Laguna, there's no way I'm leaving without stopping on the side of the road, getting some needless puto. I'm gonna bring it across to Cavite to Threen's family. It's 6:30. Let's go. Thank you, Pia. Building. I think it's Lyceum of the Philippines University Cavite campus. This is Das Marina City. Started in Binyan. Right away I was in Carmona, which is Cavite. We're going east to west. Das Marina's Trece Martiras, Nae. Quick pop down south to Marigondon. It's about an hour and 25 minutes, hour 30 minute drive. Pretty flat.
Oh no! Okay, we got the poodle delivered. Bye bye! Saying goodbye to Therene's Pamumkin. Not Pamumkin, nephew. Yeah, Pamumkin is. Pamumkin, no, you can say Pamumkin, nephew. Oh. Bye bye. Oh, oh my no. gosh! Bye bye, see you later! We're going to Manila. I gotta support Therene at an event conference thing. So I'm wearing somewhat decent clothing. Somewhat. 